Okay, so folks, let's start our interview corner right now and talk to Mimikun and figure out what's up with the mighty Elboin. Let's see. We're going to start off with a very simple one, very easy to answer. What's your favorite color? Uh, all of them. I'll go with orange if I have to choose. Orange, nice color. That's considered a very romantic color, you know that? Oh, it's glowing. Yep. Color of the eyes and the fire. Nice, yep, I can see the fire in your eyes, yes. Um, favorite food and least favorite food, if you got them. Oh, uh, okay, least favorite food is definitely onions. I can't eat <gasps> onions, I don't know why. Onions, huh? Mm. That's unique. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, it's just, I, I, really, I don't know why. My stomach doesn't really like onions. Okay. And especially if they're cooked or uh, fried, it's just... Ugh. Oh, wow. So when, yeah, my friends really like hanging out with me in restaurants. I give them all the onions that we get. <laughs> As for favorite food, I mean, it changes constantly, but I think the best thing I've ever eaten in my life has to be uh, goose chest, geese, geese, you know, the geese, roasted geese. Oh, thingy. I don't think I've ever I had roasted it, goose. It's really expensive. I did it once in a friend's wedding and it was the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. And usually I munch on whatever, you know, fruit. I really like fruits, walnuts, uh, almonds. Uh, oranges, citrus fruit of all kind, anything really, anything that's not onions. Oh, wow, uh, so you or... got a nice uh, wide palette of food. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Also, licorice is really disgusting. I hate licorice. <laughs> and <laughs> and beer. I don't like beer or bitter stuff. I'm not really into bitter stuff, but anything that is sweet or spicy, I really like spicy. Oh, same here. I love spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's just nice. Think about spicy and make me make me drool now. <laughs> like, okay, let's talk. Let's stay more on this food topic. Like, um, like mm -hmm. I love onions. So, um, you can obviously if we ever hang out. You can give all the onions to me. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so it's like any onions, like any kind of onion, like even red onions, green, uh, yellow onion thing. Uh, uh, so, so my mom, my mom used to. She really likes onions. So she, she sometimes she used to make. Uh, with purple onions or red onions or green onions, but it has the same effect. I mean, it looks different. I get I get more triggered by white onions, <laughs> uh. but the others have the same effect. So today I just avoid all onions altogether. I see. I can. I got you. Just the way they they just don't settle quite well. I got you. But mm -hmm. um, so obviously your favorite food was the roasted goose. That's the one that you can't obviously get often since it's expensive. So what's a yeah, what's yeah. like one of your favorites that like a favorite dish that you like uh, that you can get more regularly or cook for yourself that you really you, love? You know some classic nikujaga meat and potatoes, oh. roasted beef and potatoes, maybe carrots and garlic, some kind oh, of. That sounds good. Uh, like that. Also, it's winter soon in Israel. So I'm the master of porridges. I love porridge so much. I, I love porridge. I don't know why. I make porridge. I mix it with some cocoa and some cinnamon. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, training myself to use less milk and more water. So over time, it gets less sweet, but I get used to it. So uh, yeah, porridge is really fun. It's so warm. It makes your entire body warm. And also soup in a bread bowl. Do you ever oh, heard one of those? Yes, yes. I've had like clam chowder in a bread bowl with a yes. That stuff is delicious. Oh, I love it so much. You make like a, a minestrone soup or a mushroom soup, and Ooh. then you take a make a big, big, uh, round shaped bread and you dig it inside with your hand, and then you put all the soup inside and you close the lid. That yes. is the perfect winter serving. That is a del wonderful del winter serving. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, no, I like lots of food. So just, mm -hmm. just hearing these different recipes and what you cook at home yeah. gets, gets me hungry. <laughs> 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 but you, you, you sell things well, and with all the enthusiasm you got, it's hard not to get uh, mm -hmm. uh, engulfed by it, Mimic. You got, you got a great – it's great. We, should, we, we can do uh, – you can add uh, a food corner where you just eat together. <laughs> Oh gosh! Prepare you know, a, a meal before and eat together. Like, oh, how are y'all doing for a friend? On Jeep here of eating on Jeep Variety Show. Ah, yes, we got a hydrate. Oh, yeah. Oh, from Elboin. Hey, how are you in two places at once? Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> yes, let's hydrate. Good idea. And food, so I want to hydrate. Mm. Okay, so there we go. Here's another question. This one's I'm gonna make very specific. Uh, after after this question, I'll make one that I have tailored for for you, my my specific mm -hmm. guest. But the first one is, what inspired you to become a VTuber? Oh, that's a big question. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I always wanted to be a streamer. Okay. I tried it 
actually the camera and the controller and many stuff that I use today are things that I bought like 10 years ago. Oh. And I just, they was just sitting and gathering dust. I wanted to be a streamer, but I never got the, the oomph, the urge to actually sit down and do it. I don't know why. And uh, over the pandemic, I've been watching many VTubers, Hololive, sure. Niji Sanji, uh, of course, Kizuna Ai before that. And Hime Hina, it's a, a, a duo of VTubers, Tanaka Hime and Suzuki Hina, who really inspired me because they didn't just play games. They did all kinds of jokes and pranks and jumped all over the place and did some nice. crazy stuff, crazy shenanigans. And I thought, you know what? VTubing is more than that. It's more than just streaming. Um, it's, it's been an anime culture and hanging out with other anime cultures. It's like an anime convention in virtual. And to say it. I like that. I, I really wanted the, and it's really the same anime convention vibes, you know, just random people hugging each other and loving each other. And I really wanted to be a VTuber. I didn't know how it was like, no, nah, let's just watch VTubers. It's too much of a hustle. <laughs> then I, I found Virus Mama, the, the, the one who made this model. And I found her on the internet on Fiverr. Check her out, Virus or Lilai2D. Sure. I'll put... write her on the chat, Lilai2D. That's her Twitter username and on Fiverr as well. There you and go. I saw her stuff and she, the, the other advantage with her is that she does both the character creation and the rigging. Oh. I didn't want to, to go to two different people or three, you know, yeah. one to make the culture, one to, uh, to, to create the PSD files, one to create the grids. It's too much of a hustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I said, you know what? I'm just going to create this model just for fun, just to see how it looks on stream. And at that time, I had everything set up, microphone, camera, or, uh, v uh, Streamlabs, I'm using OBS today, but back then, and VTube Studio, everything was ready, I didn't have a model. So I, <laughs> I did the order, and she asked me, what kind of model do you have? Do you have, like, any, do you have an image or a, uh, a culture? I'm like, no, <laughs> I just make something. <laughs> and she told me, you, you need to give me something to work with. What kind of model do you want? And I took like a day to sit and think about this. Now I have this really big d20 a 20 sided die for dnd it's like palm size oh Sits wow on my table all the time it's for, to impress children during presentations oh nice and, hold that thought and... hold that thought mimic i want to follow her right now and i want to keep listening because it's really good i want to follow mm -hmm. tight lie lie 2d hold on that's her twitter uh, handle i believe you said a twitter for the for the rigging and um and vtubing stuff there making vtubers and the one the main one is the virus miss virus I'll send it to you as well. I post it here. Okay. Yep. Yep. I want to follow them right now to bring her. Miss Virus, amazing British VTuber. She's on YouTube usually. There you are. And I collabed with her a few times. She's really adorable. And um, and she took like the most scuffed. I I took a D20 uh stock photo from Google, and I stamped some hands and eyes and stuff. And the only thing I knew is that I wanted the 20 in the eyes. And I really didn't think she would actually make this this look. I mean, it, <laughs> the image that I made was so bad. And she made the most adorable, cute model ever. I fell in love immediately. And I thought, you know what? Now I have a model. I got to stream. So I started streaming once a week. Then that became twice a week. And now I am completely addicted. I cannot uh, pass a day without streaming. Oh, gosh. You've been streaming but every I day? Do I do try to take breaks at least on uh, Friday or Saturday or Sunday, sure, sure. one of them. Eros show is on Sunday, so usually then I take a break. Right, and today but is Friday. I just, yeah, but but you know, I just I feel like I cannot play games without streaming them. It's, it's like it's meaningless now. Oh, I see. So it's, it's, it's so part weird. Of your life. Yeah, yeah. And when I become, at first I thought it's gonna be just a hobby, but the moment I became affiliated, I thought, you know what, this is job now. This is work, and I still do D and I coach dungeon masters every mm -hmm. once in a while, but I just I I have to. Have to I have to stream. It's so much fun. So glad it became such a such a passion for you. That's that's just, that's wonderful, actually. Um, let's see. So the question I want to follow up on that one, which is uh, pertains to you, is that we're gonna we're gonna plug some more Mimikun skills right here. Mimikun on his Ooh. YouTube channel does cover songs, parody songs, <laughs> and I believe you got a few of them noticed by a certain Iron Mouse and a certain Kiara. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's true. They recognized his so, song and played it. So the first song I made was I, I had this idea of doing an Iron Mouse mix with Ponyo. Instead of Ponyo, it's Konyo. One uh, 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 one person created uh, an art 
of Ponyo with Iron Mouse's face, and he wrote on top Konyo. And I thought, oh my God, someone has to make a song of that. <laughs> and for like two months, I waited for someone to do it. Just post the, the, the idea on Twitter and nobody did it. Ah. Then I sat down and wrote the words and I thought, I'm just going to post it in Iron Mouse's Discord or Reddit. But then I thought, you know what, let's just record it. <laughs> and I, I, I remembered my music days from like 15 years ago and I just sat down with Audacity and I made a song and I posted it online and obviously it had no views. And I went to Iron Mouse's Discord, she was streaming, and she was in a tipsy mode. And I just said, hey, I made a song about you and as Konyo. And it was at this time, right, this hour now, and my family, my dad calls me to, to, to dinner. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And then I, I go back and Iron Mouse said something. I didn't know what she said. And for like five minutes, like two minutes, I'm sitting there and she opens the link. And I don't know if it's me, or from someone else. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, what? Well, tell me what is going on. <laughs> and uh, Imposter Sidmon kicked in and said, no, no, it's not you. Probably some other uh, link that some friend sent her. And then she watches it. I will remember that moment forever. And she laughed so much. Uh, that she song. Did. Oh my God. And she loved it. And she watched it twice. And then she danced with it. And her chat loved it. And it went to 40,000 views in like uh, two weeks or something. That's the, the peak moment of my career. But that really pushed me to make more songs. And the, the next month, I made 30 songs about famous VTubers from whole life, Nizi Chanzi, and so on. And then I became a full-fledged VTuber. And now I, I stopped doing these songs, but... Uh, That's okay. It's a lot um, of work, and now you got to dedicate to VTubing. No, it's perfectly understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, writing cover songs... It gave me the push to, to be here, you know? Yeah. No, that's beautiful. See that, folks? And I watched those. I watched Iron Mouse's reaction. I watched the whole video. I watched the whole 8-minute one. <laughs> I watched the song on its own. Oh, yeah, I watched I love singing. So I love checking out any VTuber who has, like, songs they have posted. You believe it. You better believe I checked you out. <laughs> mm. And Mimikun does all the voices, by the way, folks. The back vocals and everything. It's, it's, oh, all, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all his voice. I record uh, a lower voice. Then I record a higher voice. And I record, like, four voices. The last one I made for Gura is uh it's not for gura it's about gura it's uh, another ponyo i made the onyo because gura she says onyo so i made an onyo about gura and the four voices really came out well because i used this new microphone the blue yeti and i did some better music editing and my friend uh, asked me hey who's the girl who's singing with you <laughs> <laughs> there's no girl it's me <laughs> it's, 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 our, it's our boy minikun right here <laughs> only uh, video editing everything is me Except for some art that I stole from people. There you go. Let's get the questions up here again. Okay, so here's one. Since becoming a VTuber, Mimikun, Elboim, mm -hmm. what surprised you be that was the hardest and easiest thing to do since becoming a VTuber? What was the surprise that was difficult uh, and what surprised you that it was easy? Okay, so the... Uh, that's a complicated question. For the first two months, I've been streaming by myself on Twitch, just, and I tried a bit of YouTube, just streaming to nobody, basically, but I imagine that I have uh, an audience. Mm -hmm. And good. then uh, a month and a half ago, I started doing many, many collabs. And collabs come with a lot of networking, a lot of interaction with other VTubers. Um, and during that time, I think I met, I, met, I met some of the most wonderful and loving and precious people out there. For real. Really, really great people. And I think it made everything a lot easier. Collabing with someone that you like, someone you have fun with, it's really, really great. Unfortunately, there were some mini dramas. Oh. Um, I managed to brush all of them out, um, out really fast uh, with just talking with people and solving things out. But all mini dramas so far, and I say mini because it's really just a mini drama. Um, yeah. All of them were because of misunderstanding, miscommunication, really stupid and childish stuff. So that's, I think, the hardest thing right now is managing the communication, trying to communicate properly, especially because English is not my native tongue. Sure. But more than that, American is not my native culture. And there are so many things. Right. Uh, so many small things in American cultures that I just don't get. I, I will probably never get. It's not in my DNA. Yeah. And you have to be so careful with every person. So I'm really trying to surround myself with people who are more easygoing. Right. Uh, and and, and kind of stay away with people who are more serious or sensitive and so on unfortunately you don't always know you you stum no. sometimes stumble upon those things and i 
I hear, you know, every day I hear about another big Twitter drama and I always think, what if one day I end up in one of these and I have to choose a side, like, what am I on my friends and I have to choose a side. So I think the biggest and most, I don't know if it's dif difficult, but it's the, the most frustrating is that the dramas are out there and you need to do everything you can to avoid them and just stay, uh, you know, wholesome and fun. But when you do manage to do that, it's really fun. Just hanging out with chat. I think talking with my chat is probably my favorite thing. Nice. So honestly, so the, the answer to both those questions ended up being the same thing. Talking with people has been easy mm -hmm. as well. It has uh, had somewhat difficulties. That's nice. Yes. Yep. Agreeing, avoiding drama and staying nice, wholesome and chill is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. When I started YouTube, I, I told that to Eros so many times. I have tr three rules. One of them, be wholesome. I, just being wholesome. No negativity, no stuff. And even if we talk about bad stuff, just end it with something wholesome, being wholesome. Second is staying away from drama as much as possible. Unfortunately, it's sometimes impossible. You know, sometimes uh, it's really stupid and revolves around you. And then being uh, uh, collabing, networking as much as possible with people. Mm -hmm. Innocent, yeah. dumb, and what was the other I said? Yes, Indeed, <laughs> innocent, yeah. dumb, and, and uh, well, making others innocent and dumb as well make <laughs> find other innocent and dumb people and surround them surround yourself with them nice nice yep no it's a very good point very good point i like to keep it nice and chill and wholesome as well you know mm -hmm. very complimentary you know just just wanted to spend a good time with people just 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 hang out to have a good time on stream even off stream just just having a, just having a blast yeah also you know what i'll add one more difficult thing and that is the numbers it is Ooh. so <laughs> difficult not to look the, at this like a race, I reached ah. a thousand uh, Twitter followers today. And I have my friend, Koneko Izu. She was always about a hundred followers above me. Then doing, when I started doing D&D, I passed her and she congratulated me. And I thought, oh my God, we're gonna be this together. Now she passed me by like 200, 250. <laughs> and it's always, not just with her, with anyone, this ongoing feeling of, no, there's a race and you have to win the race. And I really try to think of, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, the numbers mean nothing. True, true. Because the, 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 the numbers are not a representation of the people that will actually be in your chat mm -hmm. and the people that will actually play with you. But it's still, it's so frustrating. Every time I see someone with a new threshold, a new, a new, um, uh, how do you say, a new storm, a new milestone. Milestone, yeah, a new stone, a new milestone. Is that it's so I, I'm so jealous. It really makes me work harder, but at the same time, it's a bit of you know. Oh no, there's so much more to go. Oh, I didn't see that in you. I didn't expect you to, to have that kind of competitive, uh, somewhat jealous side in you. I didn't expect that. Look at me. I literally have numbers on my body. <laughs> Very true, very true. I, I can see numbers the, in my eyes. <laughs> it's true. I can see the numbers. I can see. I guess how this, I, I guess. I guess my sunglasses are just not uh, in the best of shape. They're more foggy than I realize. I, I need to clean them. And uh, <laughs> I do. I do tell myself every day that the numbers are meaningless. It's not the numbers, the, the friends that you made, and yeah. It, yeah, that's the constant conflict. Whether to look at the numbers or ignore the numbers and so on. I'll agree that looking at, looking at the true. numbers can be rough. Uh, indeed, uh, I think that happened to me in the beginning. Like, uh, with another VTuber, I was like, oh, it's a... But, um, I wasn't mm -hmm. that upset. It was just like, whoa, that's kind of funny that I got that in me. But ultimately, uh, yeah. the funniest number that affects me probably the most would be... And this is, again, on a smaller level. It would be the view count. Not because I want a lot of views, but because I just like to entertain a lot of people. I'm a big-time enter yes, entertainer. Exactly. So, the more people that show up, I just love to give them my energy and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And just uh, give, a, give them a, great, a grand old time. But I'm aware folks get busy and whatnot. So, I, I, I can't really... Yeah, yeah, think exactly. Too, too, yeah, can't, yeah, exactly, yeah. So... That's about, i say, that has the, the largest effect, only in the sense that I have so much energy to give, I just want to make sure I can uh, 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 brighten anyone's, as much people as possible. But mm -hmm. keeping mindful, like yourself, that in the end, hey, let's just have a good time and put in, it'll, it'll be a great VOD. So that's a good yeah, way to look at it. Exactly. Make a good VOD, not just a good live mm -hmm. show. Make a, make a great live show and post show. Um, so we only have like a few questions left. Um, okay, here we go. What's been your favorite stream thus far that you have streamed you you personally where you were like oh. the host of your stream what has been your favorite and why that is so hard wait can i go to my youtube <laughs> and just go through them for a moment sure yeah you can even pick multiple streams just just tell us about like your favorite stream so maybe we can check it out in the vods and whatnot like what's like what's really oh, popular that and whatnot. is such a hard question because i instantly want to go with uh with my first collab 
It was with Mitch and we played Cape Talking and nobody explodes. And I was so nervous. I was a nerve wreck. Oh. I had no idea what to do. The moment we spoke, we spoke like 45 minutes before the stream just to make sure. We were so worried just to make sure that the balancing and everything is okay. And immediately when I heard her voice, it was, okay, it's another person. We can still love. It's normal. It's fine. <laughs> It's not and a robot. That love was so fun and so joyful, really. It was so much fun. Then, um, let's see. There's, there's obviously VTube High School, the big VTuber game. Thank you for the lurk, Master Mecha. Thank you, Master, for the Did lurk. Yay. Work, but have so, a great... uh, thank you. Thank you, you too. Have a good work at your job, Mecha. Good luck. VTube High School is the project of D&D that I get many, many VTubers and each time it's like a group of five VTubers who go into this big VTuber high school with mysteries and they meet the other VTubers who got in. And the first one two weeks ago with Eros group actually was with Ero, with Koneko Izu, with Deja Wukong and Catbug Cat Soup. And I thought it's going to be a mess. I thought it's going to be a wreckage. But it's really, really fun finally doing D&D with others. Then it was also... Um, some tarot readings that I did lately, but you know what? If I really look at them, there's the Jackbox that took years to, well, not years, took a lot of time to uh, prepare with everyone. There's so many fun streams, but I think if I have to choose a really important stream to me, it's kind of stupid. It's one of the Dream Machines. I don't even remember which one, the third part, I think. Um, so the Dream Machine is a claymation game. And there's no voice acting, so I have to do the voice acting. And it's a very calm and wholesome and cozy game. Well, it's not wholesome, it's horror. Okay, it's dark horror, it's creepy. But it's very calm and cozy and comfy when you, when you do that. And for some reason, and Audrey, and I try to stream that in different times, like morning for me, afternoon, evening, really different times. For some reason, whenever I play the, the Dream Machine, my chat gets the most views. I don't know why. Huh. I really have no idea. And uh, and people just chill with me, and we talk. And the games, are, the game is so long because they just stop every second to voice act and talk with chat. I have no idea. And I think the best, really, the best, most emotional moments for me, and maybe even the best people that, the, the most important people that I met so far, uh, are the people just I talked to while playing the Dream Machine. So really weird. Did not expect that. I hope this game continues for many, many more chapters. And I'm going to play this again this week because I'm really in a good part right now. And yeah, just it's a weird vibe between horror and chill. And also every one-on-one D&D that I do is, is also a really great way, like an interview with a game. So yeah, many, many good streams. And now that I w looked at my, my YouTube, also some not good streams. <laughs> but, you, know, <laughs> you just scrub these and focus on the good ones. And I, I see that it gets better over time. So that is the most important thing. Nice. You're on the incline. It just keeps improving. Way to go, Mimic. Mm -hmm. That yeah. actually was a really good uh, wholesome answer and also really good. I, I love your enthusiasm uh, recounting all the things you've been through. It, it, it really shows the, the passion you have for this. So let's end uh, on... Was a, a fun question. It's looking three and a half months back and see, wow, what have we done? Yeah, right? So mm -hmm. we'll, we will end on that question, actually, and we will go to our final round. And after that 